Not only a big bird, everybody, the very biggest bird there is a little flock of ostriches, which I believe is also called a wobble. A wobble of ostriches. Of course, one should all often say a wobble because it does feel nice on the lips. Wobble, wobble of ostriches. Three females. They're the brown ones and the male, the resplendent in his tuxedo black. They are astonishing creatures. It really is amazing to spend a bit of time with them. And I don't want to go too close because they, I think they will run from us. So we'll just give them a little bit of time to get used to us. And they're just feeding on little forbs. Remember I described what forbs were earlier on. As they go across the clearing here, they eat nice. They, they like to eat. They will eat insects as well. But they prefer to eat new growth from herby plants. Just amazing. Hey, it's just astonishing. There's some wildebeest in the background. And I wonder if they're not going to come and have a drink. They may have already had their drink. Please just tell Byron the next time you see him that I didn't fall out of the tree. I fell sort of in the tree. And it's not the same. It's not the same at all. <laughs> that of the wildebeest. Marvellous. It's so peaceful out here in the clearings. And there are also some zebra off to the right-hand side, which we'll just have a look at there. You're on them, Dave. A little bit left. Well, left. Here we are. Oh, that's a wildebeest. Hang on. There are some zebra, I promise. I saw them. I think they've moved into the thick stuff. Never mind. All right, let's, let's see. Oh, hang on. The one ostrich is now coming closer. Let's see what she does. She might come around for a drink. She's definitely watching us carefully, you can see. There's a zebra. Ha! And just listen, I'm going to be quiet for about 20 seconds. See if you can hear anything at all. Not a sausage. It's so quiet out here. Just one or two. I think I heard one crowned lapwing some way off to the north. Otherwise, it's just a nice soft breeze coming out of the northwest. And this is the kind of place, if you're ever feeling stressed out and tense, as Connor was this morning before he thought he was going to crash his drone, this is the kind of atmosphere that will calm and suck every piece of tension out of your body. And it's this kind of atmosphere that draws people back to the wild. And you can get it, of course, in any wild place. But an African wild place with ostriches and zebra and wildebeest in the background, well, could it be more special? Isn't that lovely? She's not, um, David, I wouldn't describe her as beautiful, would you? Now, apparently her brain, everyone, is the same size as her eye. It's not very large. Possibly not capable of advanced calculus, but if you're an ostrich, you don't need to be able to do advanced calculus.